The Clarenville was brought from Newfoundland this summer and has been outfitted on the east side harbor in Owen Sound. The ship is the last of its type, one of ten that once sailed Newfoundland waters. It replaces the Avalon Voyager that foundered on rocks at the tip of the Bruce Peninsula last year while being brought from Kincardine to Owen Sound. Inside the Clarenville, the maritime decor is enhanced by a series of paintings, and we talked with the artist Patrick Ryan. Uh, the paintings that are here were originally done for the Avalon Voyager, and uh, I talked to uh, Hank and Thelma when they first started their project of the Avalon Voyager when it was in Kincardine, and we came to an agreement, and uh, they enjoyed the paintings. They're um, a representation of uh, sort of the history of deep sea fishing. Uh, the English coast, French coast, and the coast of North America. And um, I tried to follow that theme right through it. So uh, they take the range from uh, the early fishing smacks right up to modern trawlers, stern trawlers, and factory ships. How many are there in total in the collection? Uh, originally there were 20 uh, on the Avalon, uh, plus the uh, large painting of the Avalon Voyager. And uh, when they mounted the pictures for the new Clarenville, they discovered they were four short. So we we had to finish off the series this week with the extra four. And um, the other larger paintings that you can see here uh, were inspired by the uh, unfortunate wreck of the Avalon Voyager near Tobermory. And um, not only did I do the paintings that I was involved in the incident itself, uh, it was an unfortunate incident, but uh, it led to some interesting things. A trip to Newfoundland, a schooner for ourselves, and uh, here we are. For Owen Sound, the Clarenville is an important key to recreation development planned for the harbour area.